Mount Blackiston is the first of three peaks Dinah and I are climbing today. The other peaks are Mount Hawkins and Mount Lynham. When the peaks are done together by following connecting ridges, it forms a horseshoe-shaped route that's called Hawkins Horseshoe. After leaving the trail, we climb up this gully. We're well up the gully now. Behind us is the last peak we'll do, Mount Lynham. And there's Lynham Falls. Above the gully we reach an immense scree slope and it's slow going here. As we climb higher we get a better look at the horseshoe route that we'll be doing. Finally the slog up the scree ends and we climb up a cool war under the summit of Mount Blackiston. It's an enjoyable scramble but it ends too soon. After reaching the summit of Blackiston we head for Mount Hawkins. It's that reddish peak on our right. From there we traverse to Mount Lynham. Mount Blackiston is by far the toughest climb of the trip and we're glad it's over. The rest of the route is much less demanding. With its gentle grades most of it is an enjoyable casual walk in colorful rock surroundings. We've almost reached the base of Mount Hawkins. After reaching the summit of Mount Hawkins, we continue walking along the ridges. It was a long warm day and it called for a lot of water. We each brought four liters, although I helped Dinah by carrying two of hers. The yellow peak is Mount Lynham. The trip also demanded a lot of energy. By the time we reached the lower slope of Mount Lynham, we were fairly tired. Our pace slowed to a crawl as we ascended the last peak of the day. On the summit of Mount Lynham, we ran into Ziggy. We only knew him because we ran into him two weeks earlier on Mount Alderson. What a coincidence! <laughs> 